Greetings everybody. So I was asked in one of my comments of how to set up a routine to start the coffee pot and to end the coffee pot, let it run for about two to three minutes. So I want to do a video to cover that because I'm pretty sure there's probably be some other people would like to reap the benefit of this and it's hard to explain in a comment. Okay, so to do the routine, of course, you know, you got to go into your A app. So once you get into the A app, you want to go down to the more button. It might be at the top left or the bottom right, depending on which version of the software you're using. Then you want to go to routines. Once you get into routine, of course, you want to hit the plus button. Then you want to name the routine. We're going to name it coffee pot. Then we're going to click next. Then we're going to go down to when this happened. Then you're going to choose the voice option. And then you want to enter the phrase that's going to make the coffee pot come on. And it's going to automatically cut off once that time period is ended. So I'm going to put down start coffee. Simple. Then the action that you want to use. You're going to use three action in this process. Three actions. So you're going to click on action. And then you're going to go down to smart device. Now, depending on what you have, you might have a smart switch or you might have a smart kettle or coffee pot or whatever the thing that you want to turn on and to be cut off at a certain time period. So make sure you choose that item. I'm going to give you an example of what I'm going to choose, but you need to choose the item that you're trying to turn on for that period of time. So let me do all devices. And since I have a smart kettle, I'm going to go down all the way to hot water because that's the name of my kettle. And then I'm going to say power, which I want it on. I'm going to leave it like that. I can set the temperature if I want to, but I'm just going to let it power on because it automatically set itself to come to a certain boil temperature and then it will just cut off automatically. But I'm going to do it manually. So now that I have my device set to come on, I want it to actually cut off about maybe two or three minutes later or whatever time period you want you just set it for that purpose so now I'm gonna add another action and this time I'm gonna go down to wait which is almost at the bottom right before a weather so I'm click on wait and now I want to set a time so I'm gonna click on this one which is the minutes you got your seconds over here and then you got the hour over here. You can go up to four hours. So let me go over here and say I want the kettle to cut off in three minutes. I'm going to say three and then I'm going to click next. So right now it's going to turn on the kettle if I say the command and then in three minutes I want it to do something else. So I'm going to add another action. I'm going to go back to smart device all device I'm gonna find the kettle again which is labeled hot water and then I'm gonna hit power and this time it's gonna be off then I'm gonna click next so now the routine is complete so if I say the word coffee pot she's gonna turn on the hot water wait three minutes and then power it off but as you can see it's not in the right sequence I got power off then power on and then three minutes at the bottom so we need to do some rearranging so what you need to do is to press and hold on to the two lines to the far right of that command and you'll be able to move them around so I wanted the power on so I'm gonna hold this and slide it up just like that and then I want the weight to be right there in the middle and now it's in the right sequence so it's gonna power on wait three minutes and then power off once you're done with the routine, all you have to do is click the save button and it's going to save that routine and then you'll be good to go. So there you go. That's the routine right there. It's that simple to set up and you can choose any kind of wait time that you want in between it. Now you can modify this routine to apply it to anything else. You might want your outside lights to come on for maybe two or three hours and then cut itself off in case you forget to cut it off. So go ahead and use it for anything else that might apply that can fit within that four hour wait time that you want to use it for. Okay, so I hope that helps the person that actually asked me how to set up that routine. And I hope this benefit anybody else that was looking to do a kind of routine like this. Thanks for taking the time for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.